Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing what are my next steps forward. So this isn't just any old video, this is a video collaboration with the lovely Miria. I love her channel, it's absolutely amazing. She's such a positive ray of sunshine. She has such amazing content, she's so intuitive. And as soon as I saw her videos, I immediately connected with her and it was just absolutely amazing. So go ahead and make sure to watch her video first before watching this video. This is the second step after her video. And these will be the next steps forward after her video. Let's get started. So we have group number one with the rose quartz, group number two with the adventuring, group number three with the blue gold stone, and group number four, <laughs> group number four with the yellow calcite. So let's get started with this pick a card. Also, make sure to check out all of Miria's information, who've got her YouTube channel and her Instagram down below. So let's get started. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what your next steps forward are in your current situation. We have the Snake Spirit, Kundalini Rising channel, your creative passion and sensuality welcome the transformation. We have the Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles and the Sun. We're going to have the fifth house of passion, ninth house seeking your affirmation, and we also have the advice here. So let's have a look and see what we have. So first of all, these two cards are really sticking out to me. The fact we have forgiveness heals really shows up to me that there's a situation that's really holding you almost hostage, and it's really making you feel like you can't get out of it. It feels very like constricting, and there is some sort of celebration that's going to happen after this situation your next steps forward are to forgive and to know that things are going to be okay forgive yourself or forgive a certain person in this situation okay okay so looking at the tarot it does as I say it does look like we have got some really really good things coming we also have 59 so that could be a number for you five and also nine separately could also be 14 which is one and four which is five so I do feel like for you guys, it's really, really important to channel a creative passion that will really, really help you to let go of whatever this sort of stress is. And with this five of wands, it's kind of showing me that they're all reaching for this one flame and it kind of feels very competitive. It feels like there's some sort of expectation where you have to reach a certain goal at a certain time and it feels very, as I say, very constricting. I feel like for you guys, you want to be recognised, you want somebody to, or a group of people to acknowledge you, to rec recognise you, this could be in your business, this could be in friendship, it could be in a relationship, but I do feel like the, the best thing for you to do is to really, really step into your passions, because it will kind of remove any obstacles or remove any kind of stagnant energy that is holding you back, okay, and with this set um, Okay, can't talk. <laughs> Ceremony, ceremonies, oh my god. Ceremonies and celebrations. It says it's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations or anniversaries. So this could be showing me that you actually have a wedding or an anniversary coming up soon. This could also show me that it's just time to have fun with your friends and possibly also travel if you feel like that's something that you want to do. I just feel like it's really important for you to become calm, especially around your finances. I feel like your finances have been feeling, you've been feeling very constricted around your finances. It's been feeling like you can't move, you can't shift. So what I feel like is the most important thing for you to do is to seek out your passions as much as possible, whatever that is, whether that's watching some really interesting documentaries, whether that's journaling, just anything that really creates some sort of separation between work and hobbies. I feel like also your hobby could be your work, but as it always as it always kind of conjures up in terms of your work being a hobby, it can become quite constricting and it can be something that ends up being very makes you feel unhappy, you know, if you end up doing something that is a hobby and becomes work, if you don't manage your time and you don't kind of have a good relationship with your work and it basically becomes a bit too repetitive it can be kind of constricting you know and I feel like with your affirmation it's really important for this to come into balance because we have uh, spiritual health so it's definitely to do with how you feel about your life in general and how you feel about your spiritual well-being 
This says, I step into my day with quiet expectation that something wondrous will occur. I do feel like you guys have been feeling very down. It, the energy feels really sludgy. I'm very kind of like, I want, I'm getting wanderlust. I feel like I, I want, I want adventure, but it feels very just constricting, okay? But it's not going to be like this forever, guys. I really do feel like it's important for you to just be in your own space and figure out what it is that you would like to conjure up, whether that's learning something new, whether that's... I feel like for some of you guys, you want to get an animal. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but some of you guys, I'm seeing you walking a dog. So I don't know if you guys want to get an animal, if that's something that you've been wanting to look at or you've, you've really been wanting to kind of um, go into maybe dog walking or literally physically getting your own pet. So with this ninth house, it's all about travel, adventure, spiritual quest, journalism. So this could be um, a sign that you guys want to do vlogging, vlogging, that sort of thing. Um, but I just feel like it's really important for you to just do things that make you happy. And there's some sort of romance that's been kind of sucked dry out of your life. Possibly if you are single, you've been feeling very lackluster with your love life. And I feel like it's really important for you to just be like bring in a lot of self-care and do things that really ignite your passion for life again because I feel like it's been feeling quite low so let's have a look at your C melodies uh information let's see what message wants to come through well wow, this one came through quickly voyage set sail on a new course so exactly what I'm saying so it's really really important for you to really look into something that you haven't done before and that will really help you to get a better sense of what your life is all about you know recharge there's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul so if, if anything nature is going to be really really good for you i feel like nature is going to be like number one so if you can get out in nature it's going to be really really important we also have dream follow your yearning for the deep blue sea so this is basically showing me that you have basically lost your urge for dreaming and lost your urge for kind of being yourself, I feel like you've judged yourself too much and you kind of come into this little slump and this little hole, you know, and it's really, really important for you to just recharge your batteries and whatever that feels good for you. Maybe you've been around people for too long, maybe you've been helping and it's been sucking the life out of you. You know, you just got to do things that make you feel really, really good, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some charms for you guys today. So let's do that now. Okay. Let's see what charms are coming in for your next step. Okay. Wow, you got quite a few. Okay, so we have Thursday and we also have a Saturday. So these could be two days that are very, very important to you. Something that could be um, very, like, something significant could be happening. We have three butterflies, guys. This is insane. So this is basically showing me that there's some sort of transformation that's really taking place. I feel like it's such a slow process. So you guys have been feeling like it's such a slow process. Like you're like, why is it taking so freaking long? And it's all about just basically embracing the change. And I know how hard that is. But once you embrace that change, you know, look at this sun card. Like she's fully in her element, you know. You're really going to feel so much better about yourself. We also have the dolphin. So the dolphin spirit could be something that's quite important to you. We also have the love. So I do feel like love is going to come into it. It could be a new partner if you're single coming into the works. And it could be something that's very, very stable if we have the number four here. Um, I do feel like your love of travelling is going to really, really thrive in the next few weeks. So if it's the specific place you want to go to, especially we've got the Eiffel Tower here, so it could be Paris. Then it could be somewhere that's going to really spark your, your passion for life again. And we also have the fairy. So it's bringing in that light energy and I feel like you're going to unlock like a light energy it could even be like a passion for fairies so it could be something where you're looking into um possibly buying some fairy cards or something that's very like pretty and you know makes you feel good and it may you may think oh it's not practical but you know some people don't think crystals are practical so you may want to just buy some things that make you feel really good and then that create this sort of like childlike energy again that you possibly lost before okay so i'm also going to look into a letter let's see what letter wants to come through we have h uh, we have y and b so this could be something that you would like to try out possibly like a hobby or something and then we're also going to have a look at the astro dice and see what wants to come through Wow, okay, so we have, we have Cancerian, we have the North Node, and we also, I'm pretty sure it's the North Node, no, this is Mars, P 
pretty sure this is Mars. I'm still learning astrology, guys. So this is the North Node on Mars. I think one of them. So I really do feel like that's coming from... We have the fifth house twice here, guys. That's amazing. So this is all about entertainment, creativity, children. It's all about you just having fun and being your childlike self again. And if this is uh, Cancer and Mars, this is all about approaching things with a light heart and approaching things in an emotional way. Um, this could also mean your North Node as well. So it could mean that you, uh, it literally means the same thing in terms of you approaching things in a more emotional or emotional way and looking into things where it has an emotional substance to it and not thinking too much in your head and bringing more of your heart energy into the situation. So I really hope this helps you guys. I really, really hope it helps you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to purchase a private reading, all my information is down below. Don't forget to check out Mira's channel and her Instagram and I'll speak to you very soon. Namaste stay goodbye hello group number two let's get started with your reading so this is the gorgeous adventuring this crystal is all about your heart chakra green is all about your heart chakra opening your heart which is very similar to rose quartz it just has more of like an oomph to it and it also helps you to ground as well because it has that green element so it's also to do with nature and things like that so let's see what your next steps forward are let's see what's going on so we have the dragon gaia's gateway access us in a wisdom Chameleon, soul tribe, it's safe to be seen. Frog, stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your story. It's time to step up. We also have Pluto. This is all about transformation, renewal, clearing, obsession, instinct, motivation. Your positive affirmations are, I trust in the perfection of divine timing and allow my life to unfold as it should. We also have, I notice the beauty of nature every day. It feeds my soul in delightful and delicious ways. We then have the magician, three of cups, page of cups. I love that purple. That's so pretty. And then we also have love life. New or renewed romance is here for you. So I do definitely feel like this is mainly about love for you guys. This is mainly about dealing with relationships and connections, okay? So what is really important for you guys is to connect with other people that really, really suit you. And also to let go of anyone who doesn't suit you, you know? There's definitely an element of a soul tribe friendship coming in here, okay? Because we have the soul tribe, we have the three of cups, which is really, really like so obvious that it's about friendship okay so there's definitely some friends who want to help you and then if you don't have any friends kind of on your wavelength yet there will be some who are going to be coming in that are so like you it's going to be unreal and you're going to be like wow i'm so glad i manifested this i really really wanted this and it's creating something that really really suits you okay also we've got a little flying pig here so this is really showing me that if you are connected with the pig spirit that's extra clarification for you obviously we also have the dragon spirit chameleon spirit and frog spirit so if any of those animals kind of are connecting with you then that's something that's going to be extra information so it's definitely something brewing there's something that's going to basically explode at some point which is all about your i'm feeling like your expectations are going to explode it's almost like something is rumbling under the surface and it's just going to come out so this is showing me there's definitely going to be some sort of renewal some sort of reckoning cycle it's like a new cycle is coming in so all of this is going to come forward once this new cycle is occurring. And I feel like this is literally, you're right on the verge of this coming in. I do feel like February is gonna be more of a, a good time for you. Obviously this video is timeless. So if you are seeing this in a few months after I've uploaded it, then obviously that's gonna be, it's timeless. But February, if you are watching this around January, um, I do feel like the, the month after you're watching this, I feel like it's going to be, it's just so close. Whatever you're looking for, it's just so close, okay? Um, I'm also, really focusing on this sound bowl so i really do feel like sound bowls could be really good for you sound healing that sort of thing so i really feel like your next step is just to be by yourself for now and to really kind of meditate and understand what your needs are before there's any sort of relationships coming in i do feel like your love life is going to really really step up and you're possibly going to be meeting a pisces um, whenever the Page of Cups comes through, I really get Pisces vibes. It's very delicate, it's very childlike, very young energy, okay? Um, it's also stepping into your power and making sure that you're not doing things just because other people have told you to or not being influenced by other people, okay? Obviously, we are influenced by other people in a way, but it's also figuring out where you are and who you are and trying not to get lost in that. There's definitely... We have stepping into your power and Pluto is all about your personal power as well. So it's definitely this element of kind of things brewing up from the surface and really drawing in that gorgeous energy, okay? 
So with the magician, it's almost like you're conjuring a massive new life. The magician is all about fresh, renewal, cycles, pretty much what Pluto is all about. So this is showing me that there's definitely going to be some new energy coming in, which I really feel like is going to be so relevant to you. And it's going to be just there's new people coming in. So if you're wanting a new partner, if you're wanting new friends, if you're wanting a new workspace, new colleagues, I definitely feel like that's definitely coming in. And these two are really reminding me of pretty much the same animal. They live in quite a wet climate. Obviously, I know the chameleon probably is quite a hot. They're both in hot climates. So it's almost like with this volcano and the hot climate, especially dragons, because of some of them breathe fire, you know, um, there's definitely an element of something hotting up and things brewing. It's almost like you're getting to a boiling point now where you're like, I just need change, okay? So I definitely feel like that's coming in. Definitely somebody who's going to really suit you. It's almost like, you know, in those chick flick films where you've got like the two girls and the one boy in like a friendship group, it's definitely going to be like that. It's going to be like, you're probably going to have like two girlfriends or two best friends and then a partner who you really, really kind of connect with, okay? Obviously, whether that's male or female, that sort of thing. So let's have a look at your C Melody's advice. Let's see what's coming in. Whoa, that was quick. We have change. Beautiful, exactly. Knowing to move to a new shell, especially if yours no longer fits. Oh my God, how stunning is that? So it's definitely changing up your environment in whatever way suits you, whether that's physically changing your environment, like moving, whether that's clearing out old toxic beliefs, old toxic friendships. It's definitely about relationships, this one, guys. It's really about how you connect with your relationships. Okay, so they want all three of these, so let's get those then. We have anchor, get yourself grounded. Wow, that's I feel like that's so accurate for you guys. We also have direction, trust your inner compass and find your bearings. Wow, I love that. And we also have generosity. What good is treasure if you keep it for yourself? So this is basically showing me that once you find a foundation, it's anchoring into that and moving forward. But you can't move forward without without having a a clear foundation first because it's just gonna make you confused, okay? And we also have prudence. Don't be lured by the siren song. So this is all about drama. This is about releasing from that that toxic energy, whatever that is for you, whether that's something to do with a certain person, a certain group of people, could even be a workspace, that sort of thing, okay? So let's have a look at your charms then and see what charms are coming through for you guys. Okay. All right, so we have number one, which is a brand new start, which is absolutely gorgeous. We have Wednesday and Friday. So those could be two very significant dates. Just gonna grab a few more charms. Okay, so this rose reminds me of something unraveling. So I really do feel like something is definitely unraveling for you guys. We also have the little owl and the um, hand. So this is all about you being wise with your spirituality and basically your angels are around you and we also have the anchor here as well which is so interesting because we also have anchor here so it's literally just anchoring into your dreams and there is definitely love coming in for you guys so if you are feeling very kind of sad about being single you don't like where you're at i definitely feel like this is something that's really really gonna shake your the site is gonna shake you up and it's gonna start you're gonna be starting a new life you're gonna be unlocking something so good for you whether that's a new relationship, it could be a new, it's basically a new state of mind, a new you is coming forward, okay guys, so it can mean literally anything, and you're definitely getting more wise about something. In one of my tarot decks, in the animal spirit deck, this little owl, the owl spirit, is all about being wise and understanding a situation, and I feel like the opposite end of that is really, really not understanding a situation and being very confused. So whichever area you're at right now, whether you're confused or you really understand a situation, this owl spirit is really coming in for you to help get your help get you clear on where you stand in relationships, what you want to put up with and what you don't want to put up with. But this is basically your new your new start coming in. As we have the magician, the three of cups, it's like this new energy is coming in that's gonna really, really serve you, okay? So let's see what letters we have. We have F, V, C, and Y. So it could be your name. It could be a certain person's name. Could be a state. I'm hearing. Could be a country. Um, okay. So we're going to pull out some astro dice. I'm going to see what we have. Oops. Okay. So with Aquarius. We've got the Moon. We also have the second house. So the second house is all to do with your personal possessions and things like that. So I definitely feel like because this is an Aquarius, it's like letting go of those sort of things because Aquarius rules the Wi-Fi. It's all about kind of 
bringing in equality so it's definitely your relationship with a certain kind of control it's like controlling and also with the moon we also have a lot of emotional energy coming in so if you've been feeling like very like you want to cry you feel like things have been really on top of you and it's just been feeling really really stressed out it's time to kind of let go of that and to know that you have all the power within you to to sort this situation out and you will get through it transformation is gorgeous it will absolutely transform you i also want to just pull a quick tarot card from my cat tarot Okay, we have the two of wands. Yeah, so it's definitely deciding where you want to go and also figuring out where your path is within relationships with other people and to understand that you are the most important person in your life and that things will sort themselves out and there is definite transformation. Also, if you want to travel, this is definitely a sign that you should do that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to... Uh, like and subscribe and also if you'd like to get a personal reading all my information is down below also don't forget to check out miria's youtube channel and also her instagram thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello green number three let's get started with your reading let's see what next steps you need to take we have the blue goldstone i love this crystal it's so pretty look at that isn't that just so stunning it's so gorgeous it looks like the night sky so let's get started and see what next steps you need to take. Make sure to check out Miria's video if you haven't already and then come back to this video. So we have Tiger, a divine timing. Good things come to those who wait. We also have Knight of Wands, Strength, and the Devil, gorgeous. And then we also have Virgo and Taurus. Your positive affirmation is, I easily release clutter from my life for good. We also have wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. Wow, so I love this group. It feels very clear to me what this is all about. It feels like there's definitely something to do with your health and clearing out old kind of beliefs about yourself. With the Virgos, they are very particular. They're perfectionists. They like things accurate. And Taurus is all about being patient. It's all about being productive, possessive. And I also feel like these two are quite opposite. Obviously, I know they're not literally opposite in the um, the zodiac signs, but I do feel like these two they do have certain. Obviously, they're both earth signs, so they are very similar. But also, they can be quite opposite. Whereas Taurus likes to be kind of they're not always perfectionists. Whereas Tau Virgos are very much perfectionists. So it could be you fighting between two sides of yourself that's causing you a bit of kind of struggle. There's definitely control that you're releasing and I feel like it's the control of being a perfectionist, possibly kind of releasing that expectation of yourself where everything has to be perfect and trust me guys, I know I've really been struggling with that at the moment. My, my Virgo Rising and Virgo Mars have really, really <laughs> been tested the last few months. So it's basically having the strength to get through it and just have fun, guys. I really feel like you guys need to bring in more of that fire energy. This could be extra confirmation that you are a fire a fire card. <laughs> oh my god, you are a fire sign because we have the tiger, which really shows me that you're a fire sign. And we also have with the knight of wands and the strength, this is showing me that this is possibly you are a Sag, Leo, or um, Aries. Obviously, if you're not, that's totally fine. But I do feel like it's bringing in that element of love for yourself and knowing that you can do this you can get through it and there's always a cycle and things won't always stay the same guys okay the fact that we got the recovery of health and wellness is here is showing me that you guys really need to protect your energy you need to protect your health because i feel like your health is really 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 being struck down um it could be physical health it could be mental health but it's also just like looking after yourself i feel like you've possibly been neglecting that part of you and also to really kind of look into any sort of vitamins, minerals. I'm getting elixirs. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But elixirs that will really help you to um, kind of clear out your body detox. So possibly I'm, I'm hearing like mint tea, um, colloidal silver. What else? Batch flower remedies. That sort of thing. Something you can drink where you can basically clear out some toxins. There's definitely something you, that needs to be stable here. And I feel like there's a lack of stability here. I definitely feel like you're really kind of com com trying to combat like two sides of you. We also have this woman and she's like half human, half lion. So it's part, a part of you that really wants to go forward with a passion, but it's kind of been stopped for some reason. So basically, if you feel like you want to go forward with a passion, you've been really hard on yourself, it's been really hard on your health, 
there is just divine timing and things will happen at divine time guys so this could just be you battling your shadows at the moment but you will be free from that okay which is absolutely gorgeous so let's see what c melody card wants to come through for you guys let's see what message wants to come through for my lovely group number threes we have opportunity oh my god yes i love that you will prove yourself and discover if the brave rough if you brave wait what <laughs> you will prove and you'll prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas right i got it okay so <laughs> wow so basically guys there's something that you need to possibly combat which is possibly self-confidence which is possibly there's something mentally or physically that you're really battling right now and i really feel like you are going to let go of that very soon something is going to shift within you and there's going to be more opportunities that come your way whatever that is we also have turbulence the mind is murky in rough waters so it definitely feels a lot there's a lot of turbulence around you guys so if you feel like there is and you feel like there's restriction you feel like there's just so much stuff in the way there's just obstacles that you can't get through what's really really good for you is to just get some rest okay rest meditate go out for a run do some dancing do whatever makes you feel good where you can just really look after your body also eat some fruit <laughs> some reason some of you guys aren't eating enough fruit or veg okay just like the general you know all the general kind of health things that people normally do let's see what we got here Right, so we've got the number six. We also have Tuesday, Friday, and Thursday. So I feel like you guys are very busy. Okay, so it's really important for you to just chill out. <laughs> just chill out, guys. Just chill out. So I really do feel like you are going to have a massive opportunity. This is all about opportunity. This is all about like a gold gem you find. Okay, so I really do feel like it's really, really important for you guys to um, just be patient. Okay, and you will find that thing that will really suit you. Also, to be very childlike. We have a little doll here. So be very childlike. We have the death, which is a new cycle. You're being very wise about what's going on. And it's you're trying to just basically come above the clouds and where it's much more clearer, okay? We also have the cat, which is all about feminine energy, the feline. So if you are looking into getting a cat, it could also be an animal uh, spirit graph. You also have the, a cat here as well. Um, we also have the angel wing and the uh, pegasus. So this is all about flight. This is all about you taking off. This is all about you... Um, grasping opportunities and taking it and also the angels are with you and things are unraveling guys so don't worry things will happen at a very good rate and it's going to be absolutely amazing okay six could also be your number okay so let's see what message we have we need to pick quite a few for you guys so we have we have d i b we have z h F and we also have U. So if there's any letters or words that you can see, then that's going to be extra clarification for you. Just seeing if there's any letters or words that I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing bid, so I don't know if you're bidding on something. Um, or bud, <laughs> so you could be getting a new friends um that's what i'm seeing guys so let's have a look at your astro dice and let's see what's coming in for you guys what can we see here okay so we have the 12th house we have pisces and we have pluto so um not pluto jupiter sorry okay so jupiter is all about change it's all about creating a really good change in your life it's things coming to a, an end as well so i really feel like for you guys because we have it in pisces it's really really important for you guys to understand that this shift will happen when it's meant to happen okay and also with this um 12th house this is also endings um and it's also to do with um your subconscious and it's also to do with sympathy uh charity public welfare okay so it's definitely to do with you helping other people so if there's something you want to do that will help other people i definitely feel like there's definitely that coming through pisces could also be your star sign as well it could also be your moon sign you know it could also be a sign that is in your chart also that's basically what i'm seeing guys that's also what i'm feeling is there anything else that's coming through I'm seeing you guys on a bicycle, I don't know why, but I feel like things are going to be moving through, things are going to be shifting. 
so that's what i'm seeing for you guys so thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out miria's channel also if you'd like to check out any of my videos please feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more content from me also if you would like to get a private reading all my information is down below um make sure to also go check out miria's channel as i said um and if you have haven't watched miria's video yet please go look at miria's video um also as well so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon Bye. Hello my lovely group number four. Make sure to go check out Miriam's video before if you haven't watched it already and then come back to this video, okay? So we have the lovely yellow calcite and let's go see what we have. So yellow calcite is also to do with your solar plexus, so it's to do with your, your passions, it's to do with your security, it's to do with your safety, that sort of thing. So if this is out of balance, you can be quite anxious, depressed, confused, that sort of thing. So we have intent. Uh, intentions maybe but we also have initiations be open through this transitional time yeah you guys so I definitely feel like you guys have been really hit with this energy that's going on right now so if you're feeling it don't worry guys it will change okay so we have the queen of swords we have the ace of cups yes uh, work it we also have the queen of wands oh my god I love this ace of cups this is so stunning I feel like it's so similar to this we have a lot of blue going on so we also have your first house and Scorpio, amazing. That's my that is my star sign, which is amazing, guys. So if any of you are fellow Scorpios, let me know in the comment down below. So we have the positive affirmations of I'm focused, organized, and easily able to honor the priorities that need my attention. Beautiful. We also have I'm a shining star. I surround myself with people who encourage my brightness. Oh, I love that so much. And we also have wow, look at these gorgeous cards. We have divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover well. Isn't that literally preaching to the choir, okay? I have been really feeling like this is so accurate for me. So I definitely feel like if you are a Scorpio, that is definitely going to be some extra um, information for you. Obviously, if you're not a Scorpio, that's not a problem, okay? No worries. There's, obviously, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Okay, guys, so... This is really showing me that you guys have been through so much crap, okay? You've been through so much stuff. You guys just need to be really, really gentle on yourself. A lot of the energy right now that you're feeling is to do with your possibly physical body. It's to do with how you express yourself. It's to do with awakening. It's to do with your self-awareness. It's to do with who you are as a person. How do you, who who are you basically? What? How do you see yourself? How do you want to be treated, you know? And being really gentle with yourself. You guys have been so hard on yourself recently. I really feel like you guys are looking out for something that's really going to suit you. We have two queens here. So it's definitely two parts of you that are really kind of being forced to kind of connect this is to all to do with your passions this is really to do with communication okay so it's definitely communicating with your passions and saying look this is what i really want to do i want the ace of cups i want to feel good you know i want to feel happy so for you guys i really feel like it's important for you to just coddle yourself cuddle yourself and just feel really really comforted by yourself in your own energy okay if you feel like people's energies are too much for you then just give yourself a break you know you don't have to be around people all the time you don't have to be there for people whenever people want that to happen the scorpio energy is also to do with the animal we have transformation we have destructiveness compulsiveness secretive passionate obsessive we also have somebody who's very deep so you could be a very very deep person and you feel things so deeply where it can feel just overwhelming sometimes okay so what's happening is basically you just need to ride the waves of things happening okay if you feel like things are overwhelming that is totally fine okay guys that is totally fine um, and the angels are here supporting you, okay? Um, the otter spirit is also a very kind of slow animal. It's a very loving animal. I love otters. I think they're so cute. Like when they hold their little paws like like that and they hold their little hands together and they're like like two little couples and they're like floating along. Oh my God, cutest thing ever. So <laughs> I really feel like it's just important for you to connect with yourself and love yourself give love to yourself because this this is all about transformation and so is this so it's all about that death energy of really kind of regenerating and it's going to be an intense time guys if you pick this you're obviously you must be going for an intense time guys and i feel like with this queen of swords we have the um little singing bowl and it's almost like trapped under this stone but we also have this massive singing bowl here and it's open so it's almost just letting yourself feel free and not judging yourself for anything that you've been through and just to say that you are different, and that's good, that's good, there's nothing wrong with being different, that is what makes you you, okay? 
um, and also to embrace who you are. We also have the black cat spirit here and, and I always connect with black cats. I feel like that as a Scorpio is very, very, um, a very strong connection. We also have a cat here as well. So you could be connecting with a cat spirit. You could also be getting a cat, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, I'm also hearing a car and it's like, no, it's like a motorbike actually. It's going like that, it's like revving up. So I really do feel like you guys are really being pushed to look deeper what's going on and you're being transformed guys. So if you're in limbo, if you're in like a middle middle part of your life right now, don't worry because it will change, okay? And love will come in for you if you're if you're single or if you're you're feeling a little bit lackluster, love has been a little bit draining for you or romance has kind of been stuck dry, <laughs> then I definitely feel like it's going to come in and there's definitely going to be like a new start for you. We also have like the Emerald City back here. So I really feel like the Emerald City is all about kind of um, a a part of a, a part of life that you really want to get to, but it can be feel quite far away, okay? But it's saying welcome and the doors are opening for you. So there will be some new opportunities coming in for you guys. You can tell I'm so like strongly <laughs> connected with this group because I'm so like energetic with this group, okay? So let's see what the other messages want to come through with the C Melodies card. Yes, exactly, safety. That's what I said about the solar plexus, safety. Don't be too proud to go back to the shore. So there's definitely a lot of intense energy coming through with this transformational period. I'm getting such like a, um, it's like an energy of, it's coming from my heart chakra. So it's going from my solar plexus up to my heart and it's coming out through my throat. It's almost like I need to, it's not like a being sick energy, but it feels like something needs to come out and it's almost like coming out from my heart. So there's definitely something that needs to be said that needs to come out from your heart okay we also have guidance find safety in your beacon's light so that's so funny because we have safety here so what's happening is the universe doesn't want you to go back to go back to what you're used to or go into something that makes you feel unsafe just out of making out of feeling different in your life you know obviously you can challenge yourself but if you feel like you don't want to do that then don't do it guys like don't force yourself okay because they want you to find something that makes you feel safe they don't want you to do something just out of having something new in your life we also have opportunities there's definitely going to be some opportunities coming in it says you'll prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas okay so what it's showing me is if you can basically expand yourself if you can go into things that make you a little bit uncomfortable definitely do it but you don't have to okay you just do whatever feels good for you okay you, there's no expectations stop putting expectations on yourself guys okay let's have a look and see what charles we've got so we've got the number five, okay? So this is all about change, exactly. Change, things that are unravelling. Um, get out in nature, guys. This green is always showing me about getting out in nature. You could also be having a, um, I'm hearing wildflower. I'm not sure why, but possibly you could be having to have some wildflowers in your house. You could um, be around nature where there's a lot of wildflowers, that sort of thing, okay? I'm really feeling like the swan spirit and the blackbird spirit is coming through. So if you guys really connect with any of those, then please look into those. Something is very much unlocking and you're looking for going going travelling. So if you guys want to travel, that's definitely something that is on the cards for you. And we also have this uh, crystal here. So it's all about this gem. It's like a golden gem that you're going to find. And it's going to really, really suit you. Okay, there's going to be something that you're going to find. It's going to be a massive opportunity. It's also kind of reminds you of the sun as well. So it could just it's just happiness and ultimate opportunity. We also have Monday and Friday. So you could feel like... You're being pulled in both in two directions at either ends. So it's almost just trying to figure out what's good for you and getting that space, okay? So let's see what letters are coming through for you. Okay, we have K, U, S, B, and F. So I don't really see any kind of strong words that are coming through, but if any of these letters resonate with you, then please let me know in the comments. That'd be amazing. Obviously, they don't, that's totally fine. And let's see what's coming through in your astrology in the Astro Dice. Okay, so we have Libra. We have the, wait, sixth house. There we go. <laughs> Sorry guys, this, I'm new to these Astro Dice, so I'm still trying to figure out what they mean. So we have the sixth house. We also have Neptune. So Neptune is about... Um, deception and distraction so the fact that this is in Libra is basically showing you that you're possibly getting distracted and it's basically causing you to be out of balance with yourself so what's really really important for you guys is to make sure that you are becoming balanced that you're looking into things that really help you to balance yourself out and to give yourself time okay I'd really feel like you guys are putting too much stress on yourself and it's basically 
I feel like it's really, really important for you guys to just concentrate on your mental health, your physical health, and to really understand what this is all about. And also the sixth house is to do with Virgo, so it can be about perfectionism and basically getting things right straight away. So you may feel like there's some sort of pressure to be to have something right, um, but don't put that pressure on yourself, guys, okay? Um, the sixth house is also about self-improvement, as I said. It's to do with perfectionism, self-improvement, um, your work routines, your health and nutrition. So as I say, it's all about balance. It's getting that into balance and to not possibly, you may be overdoing it with possibly drinking or eating. So just really be kind to yourself and love yourself as you are, okay? And just to know that if you want to do that, then just do it, guys. If you feel like this, you want to indulge, then just do it, okay? Sometimes you just need to do it to almost get it out of the way. Or just do it and then think, actually, I'm not going to do that again, okay? So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Miria's channel and her Instagram. It's been an absolute pleasure reading for you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Namaste. Bye-bye.